imagine being this greedy and this ignorant at this age. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about 62-year-old Shalitha Robertson of the Atlanta, Georgia area, who has been found guilty on a $7 million PPP loan scam. Now, this is ridiculous for a variety of reasons. First of all, Miss Robertson already had money. She was already a multimillionaire before this scam happened. So it was just purely greed. It's bad enough to engage in fraud, obviously. It doesn't matter if you are rich, poor, whatever. Fraud is fraud. That's bad enough. But she wasn't even poor. She already had a bunch of money. She already had businesses. She was already a police officer at one point. I believe she retired or she left the force. I'm not really sure. But she was a police officer. She was an aspiring judge trying to get into the political realm. She was an attorney. She was a former assistant city attorney, maybe for Atlanta or a surrounding area. She had a lot of money already. There was no reason to even do this. But aside, like the only reason was greed, pure and simple. And the things she bought with the money that she stole. And by the way, she's been found guilty. So it's not just me saying, oh, maybe she did it. She's accused of doing it. No, she got found guilty, so she did it. Um, she bought a pink Rolls Royce. I'm talking about Pepto-Bismol bottle of Rolls Royce. That color. The exterior, the wheels, probably the interior as well. She bought a motorcycle. I'm not sure for who. Maybe for a significant other, boyfriend, whatever. But she also purchased a 10-carat Diamond ring worth over $150,000 just for the ring. Not That's not the combined price of the Rolls Royce and the bike and the ring. $150,000 US dollars and more just for the ring by itself. Now, before I go any further into it, let's check out a news clip. If you want to see the clip in full, link as always will be in the description. If you're on IG, Visit a link in the bio, go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Channel 2 Investigates has learned a former Atlanta City attorney and Atlanta Police Department officer has been indicted on charges that she stole pandemic relief funds. Now, this video is from earlier in the month. This is before she was actually convicted. But as of right now today, she has been convicted, and she's going to the penitentiary. She'll be sentenced next year, I believe, in April 2024. Let's keep on rocking. Channel 2 investigative reporter Justin Gray with us now live in South Fulton County, where you've been looking through this new indictment. Well, Justin, it was just in October that the Rene Group here was awarded a significant chunk of a $99 million DeKalb contract. But this week, the owner of the Rene Group, Shanitha, I'm sorry, Shalitha Rene Robinson, was it Robertson, was indicted on charges that she stole millions of tax dollars. Hello, it's Justin Gray with Channel 2. I'm trying to reach Shalitha Robertson. Now, do you see this opulent gate with the reefs in front and the the intercom system and all that good stuff right there. This is her house. Oh, yeah, this is her house. And I believe she had this house long before the PPP loan kerfuffle. And this is part of my point. But let's continue. They're going to show you the chateau. Oh, yeah, she calls it a chateau. No answer at the call box to the front gates of Chateau. Did I lie? Chateau Royale. Chateau Royale, the grand South. Look at this. South Fulton, South Fulton County. This is her house. Now, if you live here and you steal seven million U.S. dollars from the federal government, I, I just don't really see how that makes sense to you. And then I have to ask this question. Is there a history of scamming and some funny stuff going on? You got to look back some years, in my opinion. If you were in the police department, you were trying to be a judge, is there some quid pro quo, some under the table type stuff going on? You're turning a blind eye for a big bag of money. After all, you were an assistant city attorney in the area. So what's going on with that? Let's look back in your history. 
Fulton Estate, listed with the Secretary of State as the principal address of Shalitha Robertson's company, the Rene Group. Shalitha Rene Robertson is a former Atlanta police officer. Now you see that she has a, tr a trucking company. The Rene Hold on, let's 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 look at that. Rene Group. So this is a truck, right? This is a uh, like eighteen wheeler. Or part of 18 Wheeler. So she has a trucking company. She has like legitimate businesses, but that's not enough. You want more and more and more. Shalitha Renee Robertson is a former Atlanta police officer and Atlanta city attorney who currently has a lucrative contract with DeKalb County worth millions to repair sewage and water systems. She's also just been charged in this federal indictment, alleged to have stolen $7 million in COVID relief, paycheck protection program funds, and intended to help keep people employed during the pandemic. In a Channel 2 Action News investigation last month, we found more than 553,000 Georgia businesses received PPP loans, totaling more than $24 billion mm. just in Georgia. But federal prosecutors told us that tens of millions of dollars of that money here in Georgia went to fake companies trying to steal your tax dollar. I think that up to half of the PPP loan money in Georgia, well, to be specific, Atlanta, Georgia, Probably half of the money that was given out was fraudulent. I will go out there and say it because I personally know people. Normies, you would never hear about. You would never see them on the news because it was smaller amounts of money. You know, five figures, maybe six figures, not into the millions. I don't know anybody that took millions, but I've heard stories about, okay, I took X amount of money to go get a BBL. Oh, yeah, I've heard that. That's not even uncommon. You'd be surprised at what people will do for money. This new indictment alleges that Shalitha Robertson spent PPP money on personal expenses like a Rolls Royce, motorcycle and jewelry, including $128,000 for a 10 carat diamond ring. Hello, Justin Gray with Channel 2. Nobody would answer the gate today at the Rene Group. Now, was that for the ring? Was that, Channel for the, two. was that for the ring or for the vehicle? For okay, so. Wait a minute. So the check was given for $128,000. From a checking account at Bank E in the name of Atlanta Custom Motors LLC to purchase a king ter a ten carat diamond ring. Interesting. Thousand dollars for a ten carat diamond ring. Hello, Justin Gray with Channel Two. Nobody would answer the gate today at the Rene Group warehouse, but DeKalb County records show it's one of four companies just awarded in October a ninety-nine million dollar contract to repair DeKalb sewer system. Okay, so these are work trucks, not necessarily like shipping trucks. These are work trucks for infrastructure. So you got a lucrative government contract. You have a lot of businesses. You are a city attorney, your former APD, but it's not enough. You got to steal. And what she did to steal money was to use her legitimate businesses like this right here. And she overinflated a number of employees and also overinflated what they would get paid. So she submitted a ton of false documentation on her companies to the government to get more money. And of course, the federal aid found that out. And now she's going to the penitentiary. And by the way, she had a Cody, a co-defendant. And I think this person has already pleaded guilty and is going to prison. I think that person also stole the same amount of money, like $7 million because the total case that she's involved in was 15 million. But I guess her slice of it was 7 million. DeKalb County tells us in a statement, quote, the county was unaware that Miss Robertson was under investigation by federal authorities for any type of wrongdoing. In light of this indictment, DeKalb County will review all contracts and our relationship with Miss Robertson and the Renee Group and take any appropriate action. And Robertson's former business partner, Chandra Norton, has already entered a guilty plea to similar charges. She's awaiting sen sen sentencing. U.S. Attorney for the Northern District, Ryan Buchanan, says in a statement tonight, quote, we will continue to vigorously prosecute anyone who fraudulently attains these critical funds. So there you have it. You have someone who was already a multimillionaire, already had a lot of money, already had successful businesses, was very accomplished. A uh, city attorney, former APD, you got all this stuff going on. You got this beautiful, sprawling estate in South Fulton County. And what do you do? You're going to steal money from the federal aides. Now, at the ripe old age, young age, whatever you want to say, of 62, you're going to the penitentiary for your very first time. Ridiculous. But as I close, I want to say this. This is the United States, especially places like Atlanta. Um, a lot of what you see people do when they when they have a lot of um just extravagant 
uh, showings of wealth, it's not really real. You might see a beautiful car rolling down the road. He was like, wow, I wonder how much that costs. I wonder what they had to do to get that, that vehicle. They may have stolen it. They may have done a lot of things that you wouldn't want to do to get that vehicle. You see things on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook and Twitter. People live in these really glamorous lifestyles, but you have no idea what's really behind it. And then normies a lot of times try to keep up with the Joneses, but the next door neighbor, whoever they see on Instagram, they try to live these lifestyles and they end up doing things like this, stealing money because that's how the person that they're looking at actually did it. When you look back on it, somebody may think that they worked hard and they earned it. Maybe they did, but maybe they didn't. You have no way of knowing. Uh, and the moral of the story is don't steal. Don't take things that is not yours. Just work hard. Keep going. And do it that way. Honesty is, in my humble opinion, always the best policy. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on Miss Shalitha Robertson stealing $7 million from the federal government in a PPP loan scam when she already had millions of dollars, when she already had businesses that were successful, when she was already an accomplished person, an attorney, Law enforcement, whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. This is no surprise to me. A lot of the PPP stuff was fraud. I would go as far as to say at least 30% of all the cases in the U.S. where somebody um, got PPP loans, maybe even up to half, was in some kind of way fraudulent. Like maybe some businesses did need the money, but they just put a little bit extra in there to overinflate it to get a little bit more than what they were entitled to, according to the rules of the program. Then you have those who just outright had fake businesses, and they took money that way. This was a mess. The PPP loan stuff was a mess. Um, shutting down was the wrong idea, the wrong move to begin with. If not for the shutdown of shit and it happened, then it wouldn't have been the PPP, and there would have been no chance for this lady who's almost a senior citizen to steal all this money and then get locked up for the very first time when she should be getting ready to hang up with the grandkids and live life that way. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.